collected by the telescope. The Weizmann Institute, located in Rehovot, a bit south of Tel Aviv, is commonly viewed as Israel's most prestigious research institute in the sciences and is known and respected worldwide. But this elite institution is not elitist. Tonight they're having their second evening of pub lectures in Rehovot bars and restaurants, where world-renowned Weizmann scientists will talk about their work as people sip their beers. The Weizmann president, who will also lecture tonight, describes the goal of tonight's activities. There's something which is called the power of the context. You can give lectures in um, lecture halls, in universities, in schools, and uh, it will always be the same type of people who would come. And uh, by the way, it will also be the same type of lectures. <laughs> it so happened that if you change the environment, if you change the context, the lecture will be very different, and the type of people who would be willing to come will also be different. Another lecturer recalls a previous pub lecture in Rehovot six months ago, and a similar night Weizmann presented in Tel Aviv. What I found amazing in both places is uh, how big the audience was. Here uh, they ran out of chairs, and in Tel Aviv there was not, not even a chance to sit on the floor. And an audience member who drove an hour to be here tonight is eating pizza at Milano, looking forward to the talk there. So exciting combination of food good company and a lecture, a little bit of culture, a little bit of opening the mind. There will be 34 lectures tonight, all starting at 8 o'clock. President Zeifman, who's also an astrophysicist, begins his talk in the Irish bar Dublin, speaking on the possibility of life in other parts of the universe. <laughs> He goes on to tell about new observational tools that have shown us there are many other planets, raising the chances of one of them having intelligent life on it. Just next door in Milano, another researcher is describing the applications of nanotechnology. <laughs> Down the block, in the slightly futuristic black bar and burger, another researcher is talking about how mutations and evolution can one day protect us from cancer. The lectures have ended. I go back to the man who listened to the nanotechnology talk. Oh, it is science fiction, really science fiction, future, amazing. I ask him what image or moment of the lecture sticks in his mind. His answer is about the shape of a particular biological chip. The toothbrush. <laughs> they build like a DNA, uh, like a toothbrush. Hundreds of people were inspired by cutting-edge scientific research tonight. Whew, it's time for another beer. <laughs>